Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to learn how to publish NPM on GitHub packages. So let's start. So first of all, you can see here, this is my article. Now we are going to follow this article. So here we are going to learn how to publish NPM on GitHub package. So let's start. So here I mentioned some prerequisite. So the first prerequisite is you must have NPM account here, npmjs.com. You must have NPM account. Then second prerequisite is you must have GitHub repository. Then you must have, have knowledge of GitHub and Git commands. Then the basic knowledge of GitHub actions, CICD and YAML files. Okay, so that's the prerequisite. Then first of all, you need to create a new repository on GitHub or you can use your old repository also. So let's go to the GitHub account. So as you can see here, this is my GitHub account with the name DevOps scene. And now here I'm going to create new repository or you can use your old repository also. But here I'm going to create new repository. So click on new. Then enter your repository name. So my repository name will be npm project. And after that description. So it's optional. If you don't want to add in description, then you can skip. But here I'm going to add description. Publish npm to GitHub package. Then public or private, but here I'm going to choose public because I want my repository public. If you don't want, then you can choose private. After that, add a readme file and then click on create repository. Now it's done. As you can see here, we have successfully created our repository with the name NPM project and it's 15 seconds ago. So now, now I'm going to clear clone my repository. So click on code and copy the HTTPS. And now here I'm going to use git bash to clone my repository. So the command is git clone and paste your HTTPS. So here, I have already one folder with the name npm project. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to delete this folder. Okay, so now I'm going to clone my repository. Okay, it's done. So now go to the C drive, then your username, and then here is our folder name, folder with the name npm project. And as you can see here, we have only one file with the name readme.md. And as you can see the timing, right? We have successfully cloned our repository. Now here, now here I have one NPM project and now I'm going to use this. So the files is here. So I'm going to copy these files and paste in my repository folder NPM project here. Okay, it's done. Now I'm going to push this code into my repository. So how to push? So let's open our git bash. And first of all, we need to insert our repository folder. So our folder is npm hyphen project. And then after that, enter command git init. Then git add dot. Then git commit hyphen m and in double quote our commit so our commit will be files added and in last git push now it's done now go to the repository and refresh the page so as you can see, we have successfully uploaded our project. 
So if you want to use my project, then you can simply clone my repository. So how to clone? So go to the code and copy the HTTPS and enter a command git clone and paste this HTTPS. And then you can use this my NPM project for your repository. Okay, so now it's done. Okay. So now what is the next step? So let's check the next step. So the next step is in package.json, you have to replace GitHub username and repository name with your username and repository name. So let's go to the package.json. So my package.json file is in my package. So let's go to the my package. And in folder, you can see a package.json file. So let's edit this file here. And here, let's make a changes. So as you can see here, this is my username, DevOps hint, and NPM, right? So my project name is NP NPM project. And here also change NPM underscore project. Okay, so it's done. Now commit changes. Now it's done. Okay, now the next step is, now we need to go to the NPM account. So here is our NPM account, npmjs.com. Here is our account, right? So now, first of all, here, let's go to the packages. So here you can see, now we have zero package. We don't have any package, right? So here, now the next step is here, we need to create a access token here for authentication, right? So we need to create access token. So click on here on profile, and now you can see access tokens. Click on access tokens. So you can see here, now we have we don't have any access tokens. So now we need to generate a new token. So click on new generate token. And after that, here you can see name. So I'm going to enter NPM and then select a type. So the type of access token defined is permission. So read only, automation and publish. So I'm going to clearly choose this publish because I'm going to publish NPM. So that's why publish. A published token can be read and published package to the NPM registry if you have two-factor authentication and so on. Okay, so I'm going to generate token. Okay, so we have successfully generated a token. You can see a successfully generated a new token and this token never will be displayed again. So I'm going to copy this token and note this, this token never will be displayed again. Okay. So I'm going to copy this token. Okay. Now go to the repository here. And now here we are going to create secret, right? For this token. For this token, let's create a new secret. So click on settings. And here go to the secret actions. Now create a new secret for repository and enter a new secret. My secret name will be NPM auth token. And here I'm going to paste this token. My secret name will be NPM auth token and then click on add secret. Okay, so as you can see, we have successfully created a secret with the name NPM auth token. Now go to the code. Okay, so now let's create a workflow, right? So I'm going to create workflow for from GitHub. So click on add file, create a new file. And our file, first of all, create a new folder with the name dot GitHub, then slash workflows folder. 
and in workflows folder our workflow publish.yaml and here is my workflow so let's understand one by one so first of all name publish npm then on push and as you can see a job publish runs on ubuntu latest then steps here i'm going to use this action slash checkout repository then action setup node repository after that node version registry url as you can see a registry here you can see a npm js.org right after that the next step is publish and run publish access publish public then working directory is my package why because in my package folder my uh, package.json file so that's why the working directory is my package after that environment variable you can see the my secret is i'm going to use this secret with the name npm or token that we have created right using this access token right so here you can see our secret npm or token that we have just created right so here i'm going to use this so after that click on commit new file now it's done now go to the actions now as you can see here is in progress So wait for a few seconds. As you can see here, it's done. Right? You can see here all steps. It's succeed. You can see here. Succeed. Right? Succeed 20 seconds ago. Our job will, uh, our job succeed. Right? So now go to the NPM and let's check our package published or not so let's go to the npm and click on packages and here you go so here you can see our package with the name our with our uh, username devops hint and our project name is npm underscore project and publish this version for a few seconds ago right here is our package so let's click on this package And you can see the detailed information of our package. So for install, you can see the command for install npm hi i at the rate devops hint and our project name. And you can see the repository, home page, and so on. Right. So we have successfully published our package to GitHub repository. Okay. So in this video, we have learned how to publish NPM on GitHub packages. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel.